landing pad. Front boat on Tanala. Well, we're finally going. It's going to be somewhat terrifying. Going through the array and then through the abyss. Are we going to cutscene it or do we have to wait till we're ready to go? We're really gonna jump there, but okay. Oh, Grease is ready for a bumpy ride. This silence is really awkward. Interact with the hollow table. Okay. If I must, I was kind of ready to go. Is it time? We're heading to the abyss now. Fire up the arrays. I'll be monitoring your progress from here. May the force be with you all. Thanks, see. And you, see. So make a break. We could get through or we could die. <laughs> Great options. Oh, boy. Why are we coming from this direction? Wouldn't we be coming from the planet on the left? <laughs> Good there, Grace? Well, what do you think is taking Z so long? Dagengera was the only person to live through what we're about to do. At least we will die together. <laughs> hey, great pep talk, kid. <laughs> Hopefully they can fit that on my tombstone. <laughs> Look. Get out of it. <laughs> Gonna get super bumpy. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'll bet that's what all the other poor saps said right before they were torn in a vortex chow. I don't know what direction we're heading in. Great. Now it's an obstacle course. <laughs> <laughs> Coming too fast? But you are faster. Stop piloting and start flying. I'm rerouted power from deflectors to the engines. What are you crazy? You're trading safety for speed. Exactly. We're all in on you, buddy. <laughs> You're right. It's my ship, ain't it? Greasy does it, baby. <laughs> And we're supposed to make this journey regularly? If we make it a safe house? This doesn't seem wise. Hey, wait a minute. Is it me or is this tunnel getting a tad cozy? It's not just you. Z, what's going on? Well, shit. Are we gonna be stranded on Tanalore? We need to go faster. I'm going as fast as I can. Wait, wait a minute. Are you crazy? If you jump into hyperspace blind, they'll be picking up pieces of the man that's all over the outer rim. Do you trust me? You know I do, Cal. <laughs> Let her ride. Now. 
<laughs> Grease. Okay, well, it's a bit lonely here, not gonna lie. You did it, you three armed son of a gun dark. <laughs> well, at least none of us lost our cool. <laughs> huh. Wow. I hope it's worth it. But they were insinuating that we can do this in the regular. There's no way you could do that regularly. You'd die almost every time. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, wait, we've already seen what tunnel looks like, haven't we? It's still very pretty. Tunnel lore. Do you think there are animals on here? I'd hate to have to be a herbivore, even though I don't really like much meat. So, this is it. Tantalor, you and Mary be careful out there, okay? Yeah, yeah, you too, BD. We'll all be okay, Grease. I'm gonna hold you to that, Cal. I don't plan on living out my days on this rock, especially not with that traitor. We'll be back soon. <laughs> I, can't, I can't talk to Mary? 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 Nope, Mary just come for the ride. Okay. She's traveling with me. Haven's Edge. I don't think I need a dress, but you know, whatever. Um, I think I'm going that way. Maybe. Hard to tell. Oh, I thought I was going to get seeds. Sorry, the whole thing's just magical. My apologies. I didn't mean to destroy the uh, local so flora for no reason. Lore. Not yep. what you were expecting. It's gorgeous. I don't know what I was expecting. I'd love to live here. Oopsie, so much sorry. has changed since I first heard its name. True that. The temple's this way. Oh, it's right. Dragon and Centauri Cree planned their future here. And look where it got them. Marin, you keep getting in my way. Can you just not? Didn't it look different? Or is it just the tiny bit that's the thing? I don't know, but I can't move my. Eh. Okay, now that Trauma camera back. let this end peacefully. He has already used fatherhood to justify betrayal right? and murder. You're not the only one who saw that. Cornered, with nowhere else to run, he will kill or be killed. He was using fatherhood as an excuse to be a dick. Murderous well, motherfucker. Say something. You're right. But what about Kata? She's not much younger than we were when our families were taken from us. I know. You and I will carry that loss for the rest of our lives. But Kata still has a chance. Yes, she does. Very well. We will give Bo the choice to stand down. For Kata's sake. And if he doesn't and take ours. it, that's on him. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I keep thinking about something Seer once said. A warning. This is Raisa. Every Jedi faces the dark side. I feel so much hatred towards Bode. Seer won her battle with the dark side. You will too. And she went through a much more tough time than you did, Cal. Yeah, it's probably so much on this planet that I've missed because I'm just not exploring. Fall back to the temple. Up the Nile are enveloping our position. Master Gera, that is an order. Oh, that was the uh, order. What are you scanning there, BD? What? 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 BD? Ceremonial fountain. Okay, well, consider the ceremony is all complete. Oh, it's so pretty. Do you hear that? Yep. Gotcha. Okay. 
temple atrium. Mother teach you that? Hiding in the night. All your friends are oh so. Kinda sucks to be the only people here though. It's lonely. Did you one? Hey Katza. This is Marin. She's a friend. I'm sorry Papa hurt you. He said I'd never see you again. What are you doing here? Kata, your father stole something very important. We're gonna ask him to give it back. Will you show us the way? <sighs> okay. Follow me. Like it here. That's hilarious. Stark. He did all of this to bring Carter here, and Carter's like, "Yeah, Dad, I don't like it. <laughs> Can we go home now?" <laughs> you don't have to be afraid. Better. You're very pretty. <laughs> she just says nothing. <laughs> Okay. There's an echo there. Where is Bode? And what is Bode even doing here? I'd still like to know how Cree died. Oh, there he is. you get here? It wasn't easy. You shouldn't have followed us. Papa, don't! Stay back, Kata. This is the only way to keep you safe. She will be safe. I promise, Bode. But listen to me. It's over. Lay down your weapons. This planet will be a haven for those hunted by the Empire, including Kata and you. But you have to surrender now. Go outside, Kata. Nope. He does Listen to them, not please. give in. <laughs> you did not. Plus, it's going to take a lot of stone to fix. Actually, maybe I can fix it. What's best for my family? Uh huh. My guard's up just fine. Distract him. I will strike from the shadows. I'm trying. Oh, I tried to heal, but he wouldn't let me. Thank you. Can I heal, please? Ow. Your buddy. Oh, come on. It was the end of it. You're very smart, are you, Bode? Why can't I do anything that cool? Oh, never mind. I can. Oh, yeah. It's called Darkness and Bode. Oh, I'm so 
hoping you would stand there. Would you just let me heal, bro? Help. Ah, uh, there's no getting out of that. He's put a bomb on me. Yes, he did. Oh, I was close in there. Uh oh, please don't destroy the temple. What do you do, Marin? Oh damn it, now it's just us. No Marin. At all. The help. Ow. Ow. <gasps> you did not. Was I supposed to have done something? Embrace the darkness. No! 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 Kill me! Kill me! I refuse! I refuse! <sighs> okay, apparently I don't have any choice. Oh fuck, I'd have to go through that again. <sighs> I did so well too. Well, not so well. I did well. Sufficiently well. <sighs> oh, I can get this now. Yay, good team. Our decision is final. Master Ancesis, please. He has the will to fight. And I admire it. But it is not only his life. Sounds like William O'Brien again. <gasps> I actually dodged it for once. It's a miracle. No I suggest you both join us. Okay, I can't dodge that. Or if I can, I don't know how. This is my home now. I was hoping it would hit him and I stayed that far back. Hit me. Sorry. Oh, I have to go for the journey. I can't skip it. Oh man, I'm doing worse this time around. It's taken me a lot longer to get through his stages. go this way. Let me go this way. Thank you. Well, I'm not getting out of that one. Get out. I can't get out. I, I can't dodge in that instance. I tried to dodge. You saw me try to dodge. 
I'm using way more stims this time around. Damn it. Maybe done yet. I'm over this fight. No chance. Thank you. This one's just working for me. Oh god. I still can't dodge out of that. Still can't dodge out of that either. Well, I'm not at full health. This is unfortunate. I am using all my health. First fight was way better. Also because I just want this to be over and done with, so I'm just doing it. Ow. The fuck was that? Oh, I'm supposed to jump, I guess. Okay, well, whatever that was, it didn't work. What the fuck are we doing now? Is it just constant now? Do I do I get a chance to fight? What? I can't strike. It's literally not letting me... It's literally not letting me strike. I'm trying to do my attack. You're not walking out, you're alive. Am I meant to die? I'm so confused. Ah, oh, fuck it, just kill me. I don't even care at this point. Just kill me, bro. How did I be better the first time around that I got him to the Embrace the Darkness stage without even trying? And this time I try and I fucking suck. It's mostly because I don't give a shit. I don't want to take my time. I want to just kill him and move on. <laughs> this game is annoying me at this point. I just want to finish it. It took a crappy turn into bad storytelling and now I'm over it and just want it to be done. I'm this close to just putting it on easy just to fucking finish it. This is nowhere near the awesomeness of the first game. Like that, such a waste. He was literally right there. Why could I not hit him? Makes absolutely no sense. Distract him. I tried to do a light dodge and it didn't work. Does this game not understand? Oh, well, fuck now. Go, get in there, cat. His aim was so off, it's not funny. Yes. Oh, shit. I 
I still cannot work out the dodge. I dodge early, I dodge late, I dodge mid, and it still doesn't work. I will not waste this mode with you dodging! Apparently I will waste this mode with you dodging. Lame. You die, sir. I think I only dodged that because I was too close. I fight just fine. I did. But it's because I've got no focus. Oh shit. Hold up, I need to heal, bro. Whatever you're doing, just let me heal. I need help. Can I? Hey. I can't block that even though it's not a red attack. That makes no sense. I thought he had less health than that. Get up, cow. I'm trying to dodge, but he's locked in the fucking animation. As per usual. I can't jump and stim at the same time, bro. Will you just let me do something? This last stage is so fucking infuriating. I can't do anything because he's just constantly doing undodgeable attacks. And I'm always just way too far away to do anything. Help me. God. <sighs> get up, cow. He's so slow to get up. I went sideways, motherfucker. I did not go fucking back. I did not dodge the way it said I dodged. I know your moves. You know your weakness. My last fucking heal. Dodge! Get the fuck off the fucking ground, Cal, and dodge! Disappointing. Yeah, you are. What of it? I don't know how to get away from that. I genuinely don't know how to get away from that. And now I'm practically dead again because I don't know how to get away from it.
Embarrassingly easy on easy mode. <laughs> I don't even need to defend. I just attack, 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 and then like, how do you lose? <laughs> don't put this on your daughter. Code, we know what it's like to grow up alone. Please listen to them, Papa. All right. I don't trust you though. And when the Empire comes, will you be able to protect my little girl? I'm sorry, Kada. I tried. Oh! No, Papa! Stay back! You see your on your daughter? Wow. Should remember that. Unfortunate. You're not dead yet. Oh, your lungs punctured, but you're not dead yet. I didn't shoot you through the heart. Oh, well, okay. The lung's definitely gone in any case. Your daughter will always remember that you used the force on her. Bad dad. I know he didn't want her in the fight and get hurt, but like, that's still hurting her. Yeah. So why did the first time I fought, why did it ask me to embrace the darkness? And then I chose not to and then I died. I don't understand the difference between that and what I just did. I never got the option after that. How are you feeling? I'm so confused. Better. Thanks. Good. We should speak. I was not much older than you when I lost my family. For many years I carried this pain. I did not want to feel better. Why? I thought if I let go of the pain, I would be letting go of the people I loved. But I was wrong. And one day, I met someone who also lost his family. Together we found another way to survive. Oh man, this is he pulling out some yours. super strength? Yes he is. Jesus, he's not this a small man. When my mother died, it changed Papa. And me too, I guess. 
Yes. But it does not have to define you. And you must not let it consume you. Bye, Moogie. Okay. So where do we start? Do we start by building a base or do we get and start by getting into contact with the hidden path. What are we doing? Where do we go from here is the question. Marin's walking really weirdly. Oh, time is passing by. That's why. I was like, that, that was just weird. Do you really want to stay here and smell the burnt flesh? Ooh. She did. You let me walk my own path when I needed to. You taught me what it truly means to be a Jedi. Now you're gone. We will continue your legacy, Seer. We will build something that can outlast the Empire. I promise you that. I promise. But I'm scared. I almost lost myself. I don't know if I'm ready. know if I'm ready for what comes next.
guide her through the darkness. Do we get an epilogue or is that really where it just ends? I need a bit more. I need to know where we're going with this story because I don't know where we're going. No, okay, that's the it. Okay, well, despite the many flaws of the game, um, I was on board. I was enjoying it. I kind of liked where it was going right up until the Vader battle. That completely changed the entire game for me. I've already given my thoughts on that battle, I won't repeat them. But the biggest consequence of that battle, and therefore Seer's death, is also something that I have a massive problem with. Is, is Cal embracing the darkness? But I really don't think him as a character would. He would. Seer has always been the person putting him on this path of light. He's seen the consequence of darkness through Seer. And he's always been convinced that this is the path that he's on, even though he seems to be wavering in this game, which is weird because there's no reason for him to waver, but there's no incentive for him to waver. It was seriously weird. Um, but having Seer die wouldn't make him turn to the darkness. It would make him embrace the light more because that's the path that they're on and he would continue as we had at the ending, continue to live out a legacy. I don't think he would have that moment of darkness. Yeah, Bode's betrayal sucks and I'd definitely go out of my way to kill the bastard, but I really don't think Cal would have turned to the darkness um, a la Anakin Skywalker. I did, it's just, he's not the right person to do it. There's been no hints of it as we go along as there was with Anakin. And so I really don't feel that that was a necessary plot point. Did it make for more unique combat? Yes, it meant it mixed it up at the end when, you know, combat's been the same for me for half the game because I only used one stance and I maxed out the stance pretty early on. So my combat's been the exact same for most of the game. So it was nice to break it up in that sense. I would have preferred to have broken it up with the skill we learned from Seer. I mean, I know we can slam and, and push and all that, but I would have preferred to have learnt those telekinetic abilities from when we got the memory of Seer earlier and we were using it in the environment. I would prefer to have then been able to use it in combat after Seer died because we're channeling Seer and that would have mixed up combat for us. Um, you, I don't know if it was in one of the goes that I died in and didn't include with the battle with Bode, um, but I tried using my slam ability on him and it just didn't work. I don't know if it's just because my timing was off or whether it was because he's a Jedi and he's just inherently resisting my slam abilities, but it was kind of frustrating to unlock these abilities that I really didn't need or use at the end of the game and then just have them not have any effect on the final battle. Again, could be user-based error, I don't know, but it felt really frustrating on my part that I bothered to unlock these things that I just cannot use in combat. I could only do basic bridge attacks um, and my focus um, attacks, my force attacks uh, through it. So it would have been cooler than having him embrace the darkness. It would have been cooler if he could then actually use a slam and 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 whatever the other one is, lift. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Um, during that final battle with Bode and in throughout the uh, the base, as we were chasing Bode, uh, as he's fully embracing the commitment to the path and to see his legacy, that would have been a much stronger and much more impactful final part to the game than what we got because I don't buy him sinking into the darkness. It just felt false and cheap. I, it, it wasn't something that we'd built up to. It was just there and not even there in a very well done manner either. So if we're going to do the whole darkness thing, one, you need to foreshadow that shit. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's something that is building over time. Ah, hello, I make it Skywalker. Um, but I don't think even if we ignore the build up, the way he manifested it and the way he got over it, I just, I, it was not the best way that that could have been executed in and of itself. So yeah, from the Vader battle onwards, I just don't like anything that happened. There were so many better ways that it could have been done. It's like they just felt they wanted to tell these plot points and they just messily put point A to point B to point C ending without actually weaving it into the character and the narrative and making it feel like it belonged. 
I don't like that I have absolutely no idea what's happening with the ending of this game. Where are we going? What is happening in the next game? Are we building this up as a base? Are we abandoning this place? Like, you've given me nothing to work off other than that he has embraced Seer's legacy. That's literally all we have. That's not enough to hold us over for three to four years, you know? <laughs> we need something more tangible than that. So that's very frustrating. I feel like the Cal Marin romance is completely not only not fleshed out enough. As you will recall earlier on in the game, I was like, are they building this up? Are they not? Are they just like a sibling friend relationship? Like, it's just odd and I can't pick it up. And then we decided to go with the romance. I don't think it's a good thing that I felt that awkward the first time around we started we started hinting at it. That means it's not very well done. <laughs> so I would have liked some more involvement of that in a better written romance throughout the plot because it just it, it, it was it's a bit awkward, just saying. Uh, yeah, it's hard to have other thoughts when they're all the ones that are prevalent in my mind. Hmm. Yeah, that's all I really got. I wish Marion had been more useful in the last battle. She wasn't particularly useful at all. <laughs> so it would have been nice to have had her, you know, be more useful. It would have been nicer to have had the companions stick around longer as well throughout the game. It was a shame that they kept tapping out. As a whole, I liked the different environs that we went through. Jeddah in particular, I liked the Jared, Jeddah area. However, as I said before, it was it's cute to go back to a location and with your new abilities suddenly be able to explore further in it. But I don't want to do that in every single location you go to in the game. I, it's okay. Okay, Kobo. Great. Cool. We, there's, there's more secrets to be had on this planet, and the whole story is based around this planet. Fine, cool, great. But but why do I have to go get more depth of Jeddah? I mean, once was enough, but twice? D do I really need to explore it three times total? And then the moon? We had to keep going back to the moon? Can we just not? If you want me to go somewhere new, can you take me to the other side of the planet? That would have been way cooler. I could have had a different environment, a whole different terrain. We could have gone back to some more foresty areas. We could have, you know, really mixed it up and just had a lot more interesting scenes than just, hey, back to Kobo. Oh, hey, more Jetta. <laughs> more Moon, your favorite part of the game. It just, it, it, it kind of graded in the first game, but not enough to bother me to this extent. Repeating it in the second game and having fewer planets to explore um, for the majority of the game infuriates me. It's not a very good game design. I do not like it. It doesn't make it. It, re, it minimizes the special feeling of having access to these new areas by getting these new skills. It should feel special and unique, but it doesn't because it. I, you can use my new skills everywhere. I would have preferred to have just had it on Kobo and not revisited the other places. Gone somewhere else. But. That's my thought. I didn't write the game. Uh, I strongly liked the dialogue outside of combat. I did mention that a few times. The characters themselves were great, especially all the NPCs. <laughs> they're funny. Their interactions with each other were just top tier. So they, they're really good on that front. They're good at doing character dialogue and character inter interactions. And there was some interesting other quests throughout it like the Jawa settlement we had to save them like there's, there's some interesting points throughout there as well and as I said I liked the game up until the Vader battle I mean the issues with revisiting the same places and just exploring them further like that kind of tarnished it a little bit but as a whole yeah I enjoyed myself up until the Vader battle so disappointing I also wish there was one we could do with the different stances. As I said, I had unlocked all of the double-bladed uh, skills pretty early on, and I had no interest in any of the other stances, so combat was monotonous for me for over half the game. So I kind of wished that they gave me more in the skill tree of the stances. I know there's only so much you can do on combat <laughs> with stances and whatnot, but I just... it. It didn't feel like something I should be able to unlock so early and then have nothing to look forward to. Whereas in the previous game, there was always something to look forward to. So that was kind of disappointing. Uh, I feel that like saber customization was really shit in this game. I don't know if it was just the novelty of it in the first one, but 
I feel like the colors were nicer, the designs were cooler, you had a much wider array of designs. You picked up so many different types of lightsabers and you could just really mix and match and make them look super cool with super cool metals and color and paint and it looked great. I didn't much like the sabers in this game. I didn't, definitely didn't like the color, the way that I couldn't get a beautiful maroonish red based lightsaber because the colors just weren't there. Well, the colors were there rather. They were just really ugly. They weren't nice shades. So it um, let down by the colors on the saber and the designs of the sabers. So that was not as exciting as I was hoping for at all. Yeah. I still think that bringing Eno Cordova in was a weird choice, but <laughs> yeah. I'm sure as time goes by, I'll think of more things. But that's the crux of it. Great game up until Vader. <laughs> and then the ending just goes to shit. <laughs> Why do a lot of games do it that these days? A lot of games are great up until the end, and then the end just goes downhill. Ugh. It's frustrating. Very frustrating. But it's... It's done. My opinion may change the more I sit and mull over it. Uh, maybe if I watch some gameplay from somebody else and other people's thoughts and your comments and all that, I might, you know, see things from a different perspective and consider things that I haven't considered. So my opinion might change, good or bad. It might fluctuate. But right this moment in time, this is what I'm feeling. So I will close that up. Assume that there is no epilogue. Oh, thank God for that. We do have an epilogue. Well, Turn my volume up. not exactly what we expected. I expected this. this place is our home now. Because I've seen it. Yeah, Grease. Yeah, I guess it is. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. It will take time to contact the hidden path. And find so the we are doing and that. Build a saloon. I mean, the place is creepy, but it does have franchise potential. <laughs> Isn't that what Bode said? Ah, oh, the compass. Completely forgot about the compass. So is the with all of us. compass a safer way to navigate the abyss? Because that was not a safe trip. Don't give it to her. She's a child. What do you think, kid? Should we give it a shot? Yeah. Let's do it. Ah, that's the spirit! Oh, that's great. Come on, I bet you're hungry. I'll make you something to eat. Do you ever have a scar stick? Aren't you saving those for Marin? And where's Saw? Man, I forgot that plot point. Completely forgot that plot point. Journey complete. You've reached into your journey. However, the galaxy can be freely explored. And there may yet be secrets left to discover. Don't particularly care. New journey plus... Red saber. Bro, you never get a red saber. Lies. As long as some new perks and lightsaber colors. Oh, Rick, you can fully channel black and red. Great. And no. Translator randomizes your cosmetics on... I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Translator randomizes your cosmetics on death. That's... That's a thing. Okay. Uh, sure. Uh, but yeah, that's the one of the criticisms I had from early in the game. They never checked in with Saw after the death of his party right back in the prologue. What's up with that? Why are we not thinking about liaising with Saw in the Rebellion? Why are we only focusing on the Hidden Path? Shouldn't the two coexist? The Hidden Path getting refugees from Saw's Rebellion? No? Just, just, just me seeing that? That's a massive plot point. Not having the involvement of, of Saw in that front. That's really even weirder now that I think about it. That we've never touched on it the entire game. Yeah. I don't like that at all. It's like, I guess I don't like ending with a kid. We all know I don't like children. Especially in games. But it just feels awkward that if we have a third game. We're going to have to have a child in it. Um, everything has to be like child friendly. And we've got to just take care of the kid. Make sure the kid doesn't get into trouble. The kid is definitely going to get into trouble because that's what kids do. And then I have to go save the kid. And like, that's just a story plot point I have zero interest in. So I'm not impressed that we have a kid to hike around with us for the next game as well. But, you know. <sighs> we'll see how we go. I'm going to assume she's force sensitive because of her father. So that, I guess, will be interesting seeing Cal's master disciple Padawan relationship. I guess that's what they're going for. 
I guess. Not really what I was vibing for in this game, but yay, go Jedi Order. Anyway, I have rambled for quite a lot this afternoon. I will leave the gameplay there. I do not believe there's anything I have any interest in doing anymore, even though I still haven't finished the Hollow Tactics. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. We are done. We are done. Consider it done. Do I have a map? That is a very weird map. Um, yep, sure. Okay, there's nothing new to explore here on Tanalot. Tanalot 100% explored. Yeah, okay. Well, that says it, doesn't it? So, yeah. I have feelings. <laughs> Thanks so much for sticking around for this gameplay, guys. Oh, you've got a bruise. Is that from... Is that from Bode's pummeling? You've got a you've got a bruise on your cheek. Anyway, I was trying to sign off. Thanks so much for watching this series, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And if not, well, hey, I'm sure you would tell me by now. <laughs> I will see you next time.